So I heard a group of guys came back today and have torn the world asunder. Well, I'm here to bring you back to Earth because I don't know much about these guys. I'm slowly learning about EXO. I just reacted to my first two songs of theirs just a few days ago if you want to check out that reaction. And now we're suddenly into their new comeback, Don't Fight the Feeling. So this is, if you want a completely unbiased opinion, someone who doesn't know the members, this is where you're going to get it just based on the song alone. If you're going to be freaking out, why doesn't he lose his mind over Lei being in the music video? I don't know what Lei looks like. I don't know what Kai or Beckian looks like, and I've watched multiple Super M music videos, so is it my memory or is it just because I've not been exposed enough? I'm gonna choose the second one, but uh, I'm excited still. I'm excited because everyone else is excited, so I'm feeling I'm feeling that energy through the, through the osmosis of the internet. So we're gonna jump in to Don't Fight the Feeling by EXO. We'll be going back because there are so many EXO music videos I have to get to. We have just started this journey. So this is just going to be one of those really odd looks at them. Like when I checked out Mamamoo, when Aya came out, I had just started my journey with them. Same goes for EXO here. So I wouldn't ever call this my first EXO comeback because I don't even know these guys yet. Let's just enjoy this damn song. Let's do it. Okay, okay. I already know that it's very spacey sci-fi, which I really like. Or oh, there are like a lot of subliminal messages here. Okay. Oh. I like how this bass line is muted, like it's underwater. Damn, they have vocals though, they're not even belting yet, you could already tell. A lot of CG going on here. They're on basically like a deck of a... An aircraft carrier. Okay. Mm. Light on their feet. I love this bass line. No place, no town that we can go. Oh my god, they look so different from the MVs we just reacted to. They were babies. Resurrecting him? Oh, it's the instrumental for this that's really selling me right now. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. You guys are talking about how SM are having this connected universe, how they're trying to at least. I'm sure it's one of those things where it's like, oh no, all along we planned this. But they really didn't. And I guess maybe now you combine EXO, ESPA, what have you. Isn't this what they talk about in ESPA's music videos? This Kwanga thing? Pretty sure. I like this. This is kind of digital environment. So much CG going on in this though. Oh, it's so catchy. I'm starting to feel it more and more as the song plays. Kind of more of a dance beat than I expected from them. Mmm, it 
really is a dance beat, and you can see it based on the video alone. Way more like upbeat and free spirited than I expected. I was expecting something really serious after we checked out Mama. Um, but I guess Growl was pretty upbeat. But this is total like party happiness, like a celebration. I'm sure this is a ton of fan service right now, and I can't understand any of it. They even shout out the fandom at the very end. That's cool. So it's them having fun on a space station while they go into a rift. I don't even. I don't even know. It just looked like they were partying, basically. Okay, so the song I thought was really catchy, very simple, but but that kind of repetitive baseline really drew me in. I think dance beats need to be repetitive like that. It needs to be something that turns into an earwig that just gets into your brain and doesn't let go. So it's going to be something you're humming later or dancing to or what have you. Video, not too much a fan of. It was all right. It was a lot, a lot of CG, not any like really wow moments in terms of the video, which I'm surprised by. XO, one of the biggest groups out there, SM, a very, very rich group, which of course, CG costs a lot of money. It can anyway. I just, for some reason, the, the, the video here just did not interest me, like, or didn't wow me at all. Uh, I felt like a lot of Espa's videos, even though that they include a lot of CG, more than I would like, I'd rather practical effects, but uh, I still think that those visually were a bit more interesting. I do like the sci-fi aesthetic. That is something that I really want to see more in K-pop and we have with like a little bit of Everglow recently and we have with uh, Wavy and some of their MVs and I really, really do like that aesthetic a lot. Um, so yeah, really catchy song, very dancey, more so than I thought. I thought we were gonna get something maybe uh, more emotional because it's been a long time, right? I mean, Obsession came out like November of 2019, right? Something like that. And I think that was the last comeback, so it has been a long time. I was expecting maybe something very impactful emotionally or like show -stoppy, but it was more celebratory. Uh, I don't know if we're around maybe the anniversary of the group. I know that we only have, what, maybe seven of the members here uh, for this music video. But it, it seemed like a like a rousing, let's have fun, let's celebrate kind of thing. And I think that's great for fans that have just been waiting for this comeback for so long. And now they finally get it. They get to see their favorites. They get to see some that haven't been in a music video for a long time. From what I read, it said that Leia had not been with them or been like regularly active with them since 2016, four, five years ago. Like that sounds crazy. That sounds nuts. Although I know that he's making bank, uh, you know, in China, and I know he's really big over there. And when it comes to a lot of these Chinese idols, if they get, you know, big enough doing K-pop, they can make a whole lot more money in, uh, you know, their homeland. Uh, I'm sure that he just rakes it in whatever he's doing, whether it be on like reality shows or if he acts. I'm, I'm not really sure. You guys can probably let me know why he's been on hiatus for so long. But I would think that money is a, a really big drive there because they can really rake in their uh, in their homeland once they blow up um, from K-pop or whatever other means. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy this. I enjoyed this overall. That's why you're going to get a very unbiased opinion from me because I don't know these members yet. I can't wait to get to know them. Uh, so then I could see everyone getting emotional about this comeback and maybe eventually get that kind of feeling uh, I know I'm gonna have that when you know Luna comes back later this month everyone has their groups like that um, so I'm really happy that you know you EXO fans out there I don't even know how to say the fandom name do you just say XOL is it XOL XOL I don't know and I don't really know exactly what it stands for so educate me please but thank you so much for checking this out thank you for your patience as someone who doesn't know this group that is trying to get to know them for the first time please understand that like I'm I'm not at the same level as you so I'm not gonna react the same way until I get to know them and get to know their music and once you have that expectancy of the type of song you're looking for or you know pointing out each member you definitely just get involved more and I'm looking to be on that level with you guys so this is just a really fresh look at a brand new song of theirs and it's a fun thing to check out now because having just reacted to mama their debut it's a real big change going to this it's so many years later so it's very very interesting so please if you're new please subscribe join us along on this exo journey please educate me on this group let me know what you thought about this comeback whether you're a new fan or a longtime fan and yeah, that's all for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.